a leap of faith because I listened to that one thing that was going through my head. How often are you in a situation in your life where you hold on to fear of jump? See, sometimes in our life, we get into situations where we're so nervous or scared, we don't know what the outcome is, we freeze. It's that fight or flight response, right? We don't move. Some of you may be feeling this right now. Some of you are changing grades. Some of you are moving into the next season of your life, graduating seniors. Some of you may have tried out for a new sport or marching band, whatever that may be. Or some of you, maybe Pete challenged you in this last series, taking your relationship with God to the next level and you don't know where to go next. I wanna talk about the disciple of Jesus today who literally stepped out in faith. He was a fisherman named Peter. You guys know who Peter is? Yeah, you've probably heard this story before. Here's a quick backstory. See, Peter was a disciple of Jesus. Jesus actually called him off of his boat to come follow him. But that's not the story we're talking about today. The story we're talking about is in Matthew 14, 22 through, verse, uh, through 33. So I'm going to read the whole story, and then I'm going to break it down together. So the verses will be on the slide so you guys can follow along. This is what it says. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he dismissed them, he went on the mountainside to pray. Later that night, he was alone. The boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because of the wind. And shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come out to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. Then Peter got out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and he began to sink and cry out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him and said, you of little faith, why do you doubt? And then they climbed into the boat, the wind died down, and those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. I want to take this story and look at it, look at it through the eyes of Peter. See, Peter was a follower of Jesus, and if we look at the Bible of where this story happens, it's immediately following Jesus feeding the five thousand. Okay? So Peter knew what Jesus was capable of. He knew the miracles that God could do. And I can imagine what he's feeling. Okay? I want to paint the scene for you. Because he's on a boat in the middle of the Sea of Galilee with the waves crashing against him. If you can see this boat, this boat is about four stories high. It's as tall as this building. And those waves are overtaking that boat. See, he knew there was a storm rolling in it. He knew that the, the waves and the crashing and the thunder and the lightning were scary. But he also knew the ability of Jesus to make miracles happen. We see the first thing out of Jesus' mouth is take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. See, Peter must have been fearful of himself in the middle of the water, right? Kind of like I was standing on that cliff going, I can do this, right? But I was scared. There was no way I was jumping. I wish Jesus was sitting there going, you got this, girl. It's going to be okay, right? You got it. Don't worry about it. Then we see Peter say, Lord, if it is you, he replied, come tell me to walk on the water. Come tell me to come to you. Peter, on 
understood the faith it took to follow Jesus by stepping into a scary situation when he had no idea what the outcome was going to be. What he knew is Jesus saying, do not be afraid. It is I. I will be with you. See, could you imagine standing in that boat? Have you guys ever been on a boat in the middle of the ocean or a lake with a storm rolling in? It's scary, okay? The boat is rocking. The thunder is chasing you. You are trying to get to land as soon as possible, and the waves around you are overtaking your boat. We're not in an actual storm right now, but sometimes in our lives, we feel that, right? Sometimes in your life, you feel like the storm is getting closer and the waves are getting higher and the thunder is overtaking you in your life. But oftentimes, God is calling us to stand in the storm. Oftentimes, God is calling us and the world around us is even scarier. And the uncertainty of the things in the world around us is the hardest part. As the story continues, we see Peter take a step out of the boat. Like he stepped on the water, guys. He stepped because he didn't pause in fear. See, he walked out in faith. He walked out of the boat on the water because he knew who was in front of him. He knew who was standing there and who he could walk to. How many times in your life do you pause? Do you freeze? Because you think that the Savior that has called you to something greater won't be there. The God who told you to move, the God who told you to move to Tennessee to go to college, the God who told you to try out the marching band won't be there so you don't step out in faith. Finally, I want to look at verse 30 and 31. Because this is where Peter finally understands what he's doing. <laughs> he, and this is what it says. But when he saw the wind... He was afraid. He began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand, and he caught him, and he said, You a little faith, why do you doubt? So we can connect with Peter. We've all been in situations where the outcome is uncertain. It's even scary, and even taking that first step is the hardest part. Because you understand that the God that created you is huge, is large, loves you, right? Created this earth down to the atom, the minute atom. And he called you to something greater and he loves you. But you think he won't be there when you step out in faith. See, when you jump off that 20-foot cliff, you think no one's going to be there to catch you. Well, let me tell you, this story is evidence that Jesus is in the mess. Jesus is in the water. Jesus is the one picking you up. Jesus is the one calling you. Jesus is standing in front of you saying, make eye contact, we got this. Because if you look elsewhere, you're going to sink. But there is a catch. Huh, there is a catch, thank you. God can't do it all, right? God cannot do this all, guys. You have to take the first step. You have to jump out of the boat. You have to jump off that 20-foot cliff even when you don't know what lies beneath you. Even when you don't know the uncertainty of the life situation you're about to get yourself into, you have to jump off the boat. See, Peter physically put his foot on the foot, put his foot on those crashing waves. He stepped out into the storm because he had to trust he was going to stand on the water. He had to leave the fear of failing behind him because he took a step of faith. 
Maybe you're in a similar situation right now where you're trying to step out in faith and you lost your faith. Maybe halfway through choosing what college to go to, all of them disappeared. None of them walked out. Maybe halfway through trying out for a new sports team or a new activity in school, you didn't mean Maybe halfway through meeting new friends and going into the summer, you were ready and prepared, but it all fell through. You're alone. Or halfway through this last year, this whole year where God is bringing this pandemic on this earth, and you're saying, God, what are you doing? I don't understand. How can you bring this to this world? You lost faith. But guys, having those fears shouldn't hold you back from taking the leap of faith. Because you need to trust that God's going to catch you when you fall. We see in the, in the story, Peter would jump. See, Peter had enough faith to know God was going to catch you. That God was going to be right there. And he was. I love what 2 Timothy 1 7 says. It says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, love, and self control. See, God gave you the ability to have faith, God gave you the ability to trust. And right before Peter ever walked on that water, what did Jesus say to him? Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. See, Jesus is standing at the bottom of the cliff, or the situation where you are uncertain, when the world around you is crashing, and you know what he's saying to you? It is I. Do not be afraid. We've all felt like Peter at some point in our lives. We're standing on the cliff, we're standing in the boat, and the situation in the world around us is so uncertain, we don't even know where to go, we can't even take the first step. But stepping out in the storm is the biggest thing in faith you could ever do. Stepping out in that storm is saying, I trust you, God, you are with me, I will not be afraid. You're gonna grab me when I lose eye contact. You're gonna be right there in the mess with me, and I trust that. I have a quote for you from Martin Luther King that I think sums up this whole sermon, and it says, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see what could happen. When I was standing on that cliff and looking down at the doom of the water that lied beneath me, I can imagine Peter was probably feeling the same way. The same thing in his head because the uncertainty that lied in front of each of us was something that scared us. But it's the way that we took the first step. Because we didn't know what the outcome would be. But you know what, guys? We did it anyways. We did it because we had faith. I want to finish because I want you to identify what fear you are as we sing our last worship song. Because maybe you're the Peter that's standing in the boat, afraid to take the step because the world around you, the waves that are crashing your situation is so uncertain, you can't take that step. Maybe you can have the Peter that's in the boat, that is taking the first step, that is ready to go, but you're about to lose eye contact with Jesus. You're about to realize what's about coming. Finally, 
Maybe you're the Peter that took this step out of faith. <laughs> and you're sinking. And you're sinking and you're crying, Jesus, where are you? I don't see you in this mess. I don't understand what is happening. You called me to this and I can't find you. What Peter are you? And finally, what are you going to do about it? Choose you. 